Hello everybody, welcome to my round three game versus Hubbin Bubbin, who has some orcs. I'm going to concentrate, so I'm going to mute myself. Uh, the the chat aren't going to give advices, and Elliot is going to do commentary for a bit, and somebody will join after that. But uh, thank you very much, Elliot. Very kind of you to come in and do this for half an hour. Um, take it away. Wow, thank you very much, Jimmy. Good luck. Hello, chat. Good evening. Welcome to game three. I tell you which round it is, but it's all just confusing, isn't it? So, you know, whatever. It's a round. We're going to play it. Jimmy's going to play it anyway. We're not going to play it. We're definitely not going to play it. That's not allowed, is it? We're not going to say anything about the game, are we? That could be in any way to students' advice. And, uh, and yeah, Jimmy's going to see if he can, uh, if he can beat these dwarves. Uh, this is um, loser takes nothing. I was going to say winner takes all, but. I mean, they don't do they, but yeah, the lo the loser goes home, so whoever loses here is uh, is out, um, and uh, and the winner will progress to the to the final round of the planes, which is a seeded single elimination round, uh, as opposed to basically these last uh, two or three rounds, depending on how you define it, which were double elimination. Um, hey, everybody in chat, how are you all doing? Oh, is that is that noise, Big Chi-Chi? Like, is is that me? Oh, no, no, just Big GG. Okay, if anybody else hears some noise. I did just plug my microphone back in, so who knows? Maybe there's maybe there's something there. Sounds good to you. Thank you, Sans Skyler. All right, so. Um, Orcs. Uh, obviously not a great matchup, is it? Um, but we'll, uh, we'll see. Yeah, I need to uh, not get it all... Um, not get it all um, technical, right? Completely, completely fun having commentary. Uh... We can have a look at what they've got though, right? They've got three guards, two of them on biggins, one of them on a blitzer, hiding behind the troll. They've got a tackle on the right, they've got a mighty blow on the left. They've got a leader on Mr. Throw. There we go, fan favorite player by Hubble and Bubbin. Jimmy's got, what, four guards and a mighty blow, I think it was, something like that. Uh, I had uh, I had mac and cheese, I think for like the first time in my life. That's like, that's kind of like an American thing, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, I, I had mac and cheese, so it's very nice. Uh, five five guards. Wow, holy shit! Five guards. Wow, they got a few scores, then, didn't they? Yeah, five guards in my team. There's a lot of guards. There's a lot of guards. Very American, yeah, yeah. First time, yeah, I think so, yeah. I don't think I'm like honestly, I'm not sure I've ever had macaroni before. Like I've always have, obviously I've had plenty of other types of pastas, but yeah, I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever had macaroni. There he goes, Jimmy, setting his players up. Who can say whether they're set up well or badly? Not us, for sure. South, Southern American stable, oh, really, really. The Orcs occupying uh, the centre of the pitch at the moment on their setup. So, oh, who? I missed already. Oh, here we go, no. Jimmy, there we go. Jimmy choose to offence. I always did find him quite offensive. Kick is very short, and there's a riot. Oh, wow. So, interesting turn of events already, right? We lose a turn from the game due to the riot, and the Longbeard catches the ball. That's not your job, Longbeard. What are you doing? Give it to somebody else. Preferably not an orc. I was talking to the, the Longbeard, not, not the coach. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, it was, uh, it was very tasty for sure. So Jimmy does have two runners on the roster. Um, it looks like he's just fielding the one for, for this offense. Looks like there's a runner on the bench as well. What happened to Jimmy's game two? Yeah, he lost to, he lost to Glencher with Pro. It's a bit of an upset. Not a massive upset, you know, as the Nev is going to be ultimately, at, you know, at, uh, at, you know, in this kind of tournament. But but yeah, you know, he was he was the favorite on coaching. He was the favorite on teams, right? And uh, and, uh, and yeah, he, he obviously got a bit lucky. I, I think Glencher played a really good game. What it's worth. Um, so yeah, props to Glencher. I'm really sad about that because now it means that I could play Jimmy in the last round, and. Uh, and I can't play Glencher. <laughs> no offense, Glencher, but I'd have loved to play for us. Oh. Uh, oh, well, I've just...
I've just found out I've got half an hour more than I thought I would. So, uh, <laughs> screw, screw you, YouTube viewers and Mega Cans. Um, you got me. You've got it for an hour. <laughs> um. All right. So, the long bait does try and give the ball to a runner. The runner catches it. Incredible scenes. Dwarfs stealing the ball. What is this? Up stand for troll. Clever, clever troll. Let's see if he manages to keep that up throughout the rest of the game. The dwarves have jammed in a little bit here, haven't they? Uh, interestingly. They have obviously got like a big guard advantage. It's just what I know according to the I know the name, yeah. I got I I couldn't tell you anything about the name. But I I do know the name. Yeah, I'm sure I've played them a bunch in Blood Bowl too. But yeah, I, I from from personal experience I couldn't say anything about the coaching quality. I mean, yeah, yeah, obviously from um, from from what you'd expect from what they've done, you know, they're, they no doubt know their way around a blood ball pitch fight. Um, it wasn't completely trivial to qualify for this right at the end of the day. Um, there, there were quite a few spots available, right, like fifty four, whatever. Um, so you know, there, there was plenty of space available, but um, yeah, the ranking system does somewhat work in that when you get to the top end, you will typically be playing all the you know, the other good coaches, right, so. It's, it sort of does the job in that respect. Uh, playoffs, by the way, confirmed for Blood Bowl 3 Season 3 today. Playoffs at the end of this ladder season. So we don't know what format they will take, other than that it will be a different format to this tournament. So that's pretty exciting, isn't it? There we go. Orc Blitzer comes in and pushes one of the... Did they push the guard back or the Mighty Blow? I think it was the Mighty Blow, right? I wasn't paying attention. And another 2D from the Orcs. Another push as well. So, Dwarfs staying on their feet so far. Chooses to keep that one in contact with the Troll. So yeah, what, what happened, by the way, sorry. Uh, in, a, in, a bit, in a bit more detail, in the Glen Show game. Um... So I think, ah, yeah, right. So Jimmy had offense first and didn't get the score. And in fact, he he, he suffered a defensive touchdown. Yeah, so turn, turn seven, Jimmy was a little bit behind sort of where he needed to be in terms of getting up the pitch. And Glenshaw had quite a few offs left and he put really good defense. So so Jimmy needed needed some dice to get into range turn seven. Uh, not not crazy dice. He had a bunch of yours as well, obviously. And he, and he snakes uh, one of the GFIs he needed. Um, before the ball could have moved, uh, he, he did also make a bit of an error. He left a couple of dwarves down that, that could have, um, that, that should have, that should have been standing up right in time. Involves, and, and as a result, the house managed to get the ball away and score a defensive touchdown. Um, they, uh, they, they then got turned over by Jimmy though on their offense, and so we went to overtime at one-one. And as we see, uh. A mighty blow dwarf hit a blitzer. Nothing doing. Does get the knockdown though. And opens up another hit. Uh, and so we're into overtime. The elves got the ball. Uh, oh, who needs mighty blow? There's a badly hurt. Wow. Surely that will be the apple. When I say surely, of course, I don't. <laughs> I didn't mean surely at all, did I? <laughs> I meant there's the apple. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hashtag no advice. Um, and. Um, uh, I've got what I was saying now. And then uh, on the long drive, sorry, G Jimmy made the long drive back to Droidle uh, and, and then lost on kicks. So yeah, Jimmy went out on kicks. Went out on a coin flip in, in round two. Uh, Faber! Thank you for the raid. Good evening, Faber. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. So yeah, there goes, the, there goes an orc. Incredible stuff. The tackle orc, which is, you know, pretty, um, well, <laughs> it's not pretty relevant. It's entirely relevant. For, for this game, but still, an orc down is uh, really, really nice, isn't it? Ah, nice! What a what a good guy that Rick is. Yeah, well, Rick, Rick viewers on the other hand, very very fickle creatures, aren't they? Lots of knockdowns this turn from the orcs, uh, from the dwarves even. Very, very. Uh, very nice turn from the dwarfs. 
Ooh, there we go. Troll got knocked down and decides to stay there. Which is fair enough, really, isn't it? You don't want to stand up next to Troll, you just get punched again. I completely sympathize with the Troll. Wow. <laughs> Stupid kids. <laughs> Stupid Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> um, ah. That's weird. I just heard like a noise. Like someone had joined the Discord. What well, they have. Oh! But Jibby started streaming. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would be my guess, Famer. That would be my guess. Yeah, Rick doing some fumble at the moment is very cool. Fumble, fumble is absolutely incredible. I've heard some alternate opinions about fumble recently. Could this be more? Fumble is outstanding. Very, very good thing. All right, dwarfs. Sorry, orcs. Oh my god, I'm can, never going to remember which one's a dwarf and which one's an orc here. The orcs! The orcs! Swinging back towards the dwarves. Getting a big hit in with a long bit. And uh, no, with a, with, a, with a black orc! How could I. Okay, okay, with a black orc. On a long beard. A guard long beard. Down goes the guard long beard. Stunned. Uh, did I miss the blitz from the orcs? I don't think I did, right? I don't think the orcs play. I couldn't see a lightning bolt symbol. Just fair enough. Don't always. Uh, oh, was the troll the blitz? No, surely not. Right, surely not. Not first action. They must have just de declined the blitz. Oh, oh, I missed it. I was going fine. I was going fine until people started criticizing me, and now I'm having a crisis of confidence. In jams the guard blitzer again. So, uh, Jimmy, not afraid to get hands on here. Just a push from the mighty blow. Oh. Play of casting nerves. <laughs> Don't you know it? And up the pitch go a couple of long beards to take the blitz on a blitzer. Couple more knockdowns, we'll take it. No, no dead orcs this time though. Ah, nice. You you going back to Spain for Christmas, favorite? Hope you uh, hope you have a safe journey. One week. Cool, cool. In comes the mighty blow. Orc. Knocked down on a long bit, but uh, no more. Dwarfs remain on 11. It looks like they're just uh, setting up a bit of a, a bit of a screen ahead of the dwarfs. Just to throw protectors in the rear. Spending a winter in Spain. Do the do the winters tend to be warmer in Spain? Like 
I know the summers are obviously a lot warmer. <clears throat> and the winters are also warmer. Like so, some places like get warmer in summer, but then get cold in winter, right? Yeah, they are. Fair, fair. Never actually been to Spain. Been to a, a few places in Europe, but uh, never to Spain. Ooh, a 1 in 9 from a blind org. Oh, a 1 in 81! Brutal scenes. Down goes the line org. I wonder if that biggin, the unactivated biggin, was going to move or or, or not. You, you'd imagine yes, right? Because maybe Hub and Bubbin would have just eaten that. Maybe he had plans to move the biggin. We'll never know. Either way, it's a nice uh, turn of events for the dwarfs for sure. RNG <laughs> is very good. Rerolls don't work. Now the guard dwarf doing lots of work. The dwarf guard even. Oh my god. The dwarf guard doing lots of work. Jimmy getting in lots of 2Ds on those biggins. So yeah, no no block biggins from Hub and Bubbin, right? Block biggins were a pretty popular choice. I think he's gone guard on the troll as well, right? It's interesting because the troll is like the biggest, strongest guy, right? So so guard is nice in that sense, right? You like it on your, your big, strong ones. To protect your, uh, your all the players, but then he's also the most unreliable guy, right? So, oh, 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 oh. bosh! Down goes another orc. Mighty blow, not needed. Ten into ten, brutal, brutal for the orcs. Two Kaz, wow. And it's big advantage to the dwarfs. Now the orcs had one bench, so they are still on eleven. Um, and you know, potentially they'll stay alone for the rest of the game. Who knows? But it's a it's a pretty horrible start for them. Yep, no apple for that one indeed. No apple for that one. Ooh, a GFI. Ooh, scary. Makes it. Wow. Tough times for the Orcs. Let's see if they can uh, find a way out. It's obviously, you know, this is Jimmy's drive, so you would have expected him to score at the start of the drive. You expect it even more now. But, you know, the Orcs aren't going to be panicking. Right. They're going to be a little bit worried about how things might go to them with them already down the Blitzer and down the Apo. But, you know, it's, uh, it's not... It's, let me, it's not over, is it? Made a nice hangman shape. That is a pretty good hangman shape, isn't it? You just need to draw, like, the little man hanging. Oh, I guess maybe that's the that's the runner. You can see shapes and has no total scores. That was a pretty good spot, to be fair. To be fair, that was a pretty good spot. Yeah, all that dwarf, all that guard is tricky for the orcs. All that dwarf as well, to be fair. Oh, they do find a 2D. Some, somewhere they find a 2D. And it's a double skulls. <laughs> they do... Not 1 in 9. Sorry, 1 in 81 this time. They do get a, a power, in fact, on the roll. And it's a big stun. It's a big stun. Thick skull. Best skull in the game. The dwarf stays on the pitch. Ooh, and then a skull. 1D skull from the Blitzer. I mean, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Yeah, eats it. It's been a it's been a tough old half for the orc so far. These two D blocks on the defense this guard begins feel so juicy, don't they? Well, and there goes a stun as well. Oh, oh. The armor base continue. 
It's raining tens. Hallelujah. Mighty blow on mighty blow action now. Doesn't get the power. You do wonder if a different coach might have considered the reroll there. It would have been a very spicy one, wouldn't it? The double skulls leaves you in, uh, in a lot of trouble. But you can definitely imagine that, uh, that uh, some would. He, he does only have four rerolls left, it's true, it's true. Given that you can use, given you can use multiple rolls on a turn, it's it's less few rolls than he'd like, really, isn't it? I ideally he'd want at least eight. I mean, you can start with eight rolls, right? Maybe he should have built the team to have eight rolls, honestly, and then you can get them off kickoff events and stuff, can't you? So he, he could have nine rolls. I guess there's lead as well. He could have ten rolls right now. I mean, I'm not sure that you can actually build a dwarf team with eight rolls. Probably not. Well, then you should have just chosen to race the Kadavi Reels, shouldn't he? Down we go to the big one. That mighty blow, Orc, although it survived this turn, is uh, looking in an uncomfortable spot for next turn. Oh, disgusting, disgusting dwarfs. Down goes a line out. Now, Jimmy has to decide what to do with the last dwarf, if anything. Nothing. We saw him considering the 4 plus dodge out there, I think, yeah. to tag us to throw. But uh, decides against it in the end. Mr. Throw, obviously, not worth the attention. It's a, it's a net benefit to leave Mr. Throw free to fuck things up for the Orcs. How on a guard beard by the orcs? There are quite a few dwarfs sort of stuck down the pit for now, aren't there? On the troll and the, and the big ones there, but there are so there are so few orcs left up at the top. It's uh, likely to mighty imagine. There's a nice one D power though for the dwarfs, for the orcs on the dwarfs. More mighty blow, mighty blow action. No R break and get the dodge off. So they're in a, a really rough spot. Still, but this was a nice turn for the Orcs. I say that this was a nice turn, obviously, uh, it's not quite over. How many spare players? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, one, one each to start. And now the Dwarfs. Now the Orcs. Uh, I have, have none left on the bench. And in fact, uh, the spare lino will be coming on for the, the Badly Hurt Blitzer in the second half, so that the Orc team will be will be slightly worse, at least slightly worse, you never know. Maybe they'll maybe 10 more Orcs will die before the end of the half. It's pretty unlikely. In fact, it's probably impossible, right? 
Ah, maybe not impossible, actually. Maybe not impossible. Right now, it's not impossible, is it? Right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah. Right, right now, yeah, we could, we could kill, we could kill every single orc on the pitch before the end of the drive. Right now, it's quite unlikely. You might, you might say. But I mean, where, where's your optimism? I would say. Where's your confidence? Okay, now I don't think we can kill every single orb anymore. That's a shame. We'll have to sell for the nine dead orbs then. Well, you could have killed one, two, three, four, five, six. You could kill seven orcs this turn. Now you can only kill six. And then you could have killed. And then an orc could have killed itself for eight. And then you could have killed the last two orcs on, on the final turn. Before you scored. You could have blitzed one and fouled on. Oh, that, and they could have just based you up, couldn't they, as well? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you could. Oh, yeah. No, we. in fact, we could still kill the orcs. Yeah, we could we can still kill all the orcs. If they if they if they if they base us if they base us up, we kill them all on last turn, can't we? Well, you know, dwarves are slow, aren't they? So despite the two removals We're not done here, are we? Jimmy has to think carefully about these uh these turns and the uh, Trying to navigate his way through the best he can. The orcs still have a reroll as well, so they can they can try some some fancy orc plays, can't they? Will Will Mister Throw be a hero? No, he, he won't. Will Mr. Toby dead? Ooh. Jimmy, Jimmy hesitates before blitzing Mr. Throw. He's scared of the beast that is Mr. Throw. No. Changes his mind again. Here we go. Gets the stun. So that's an orc out of action for next turn. That's pretty nice. Oh, and we we based the body, we based the prone body of Mister Tho, just to add insult to injury. Absolute BM. How are you? How are you doing there, Mister Tho? Lying on the floor. You stupid idiot. Hate a 1D to isolate the troll and in fact gets them both down on the same line. Oh, again, and a KO! There's a pretty, uh, pretty nice way to end the turn. Really nice way to end the turn. What have the orcs got on the final turn? Is there anything they can do to try and stop this seemingly inevitable dwarf advance? Just to push on the blitz. There's not been the dwarf drive at all. Oh, there's a, a failed rush. From the big gun, does get it with a last three roll, and that gets a mighty blow hit from the uh, from the blitzer. Could this uh, change things around? Not really. The uh, the orc survives. Um. There has been, to update you, some slight shenanigans uh, in uh, in 
<laughs> in the in the in the in the season finals Discord. Um, it appears that two sets of teams have tried to spin at the same time, and they've spun into the wrong people. <laughs> so they're going to have to uh, restart their games. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> only only one of the two coaches in the incorrect game actually noticed this, so that could have been fun if uh, if neither of them noticed. Anyway, back to back to back to the uh, the dwarves and the orcs. No, apparently not. Unfortunately, not. I mean, probably only only twelve, but somebody else is going to have an extra game. Yeah. Yeah. This is um, this is really good, isn't it? This is really good from the orcs. To be honest, like I was obviously I didn't want to say much, but like as they were as they were doing the turn, I thought, man, this is really good because he's Jimmy's got a gear fight now, right? Like. That's not, that's not advice. There's, there's no, there's no other way. Um, I mean, he, okay, he could jump, yeah. <laughs> there, there we go, classic, classic chat advice. <laughs> Wor worse, worse than, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. Worse than a uh, worse option. <laughs> well, it is advice. <laughs> it's just terrible advice. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess I get, but I guess I guess what you mean to say is that mine was advice. Yeah, shit. I guess it was, wasn't it? Damn it! Oh man. Yeah, you're right. I failed. Maybe maybe Jimmy was planning to jump over the orc, yeah. Now I've uh and now I've he would have never seen the GFI uh, if I had not said that. Hmm. He could go to the left, dodge to each orc and score two GFIs. He could, he could, he could, he could. Oh no, I was gonna say he could foul Mr. Throw on the rain, but obviously he can't do that. Oh no, he he could he could he could have set up a line of dwarfs going to the end zone, and then fouled Mister Throw with the runner, and got sent off, and the ball scattered along the line of the orcs into the orc in the end zone. No wait, dwarf along the line of dwarf. Did I think orcs dwarfs along the line of dwarfs into the end zone, and the last dwarf catches it and scores. That would have been that would have been the most stylish way to score, I think. Anyway, goes for the GFI. Gets it. Crowd goes wild. Dwarfs won the ball. The Orcs get their KO back. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. KO stays down. So 10 for the Dwarfs for this turn 8. Uh, and then another 50-50 to see if the KO comes back for the next half yeah he could have not scored as well big chichi that's true he could have not scored that's another option he may have been playing not to score. Go for the uh, painted to space cadet strategy. Less chance that the KO comes back for the second half if you don't score. Ooh, the most uh, exciting uh, kick of event uh, from uh, from the uh, the viewing perspective. So yeah, the orcs. Uh, the Orcs have no real, obviously. They do have the hero, Mr. Throw, though. Yikes. Yikes, indeed. Like, there's 11 dwarfs. 10 orcs. They have no reroll. Jimmy's got four yards still. The dwarfs have four yards. It's likely... It's very nice to see first action. Hubbard Hubbard getting uh, a scoring thread in. Well... I say, I say that it, it, the first scoring thread is almost pointless, right? 
And he can't get another scoring thread in without rolling some dice. Uh, but yeah, so you, you might as well get the first one in, right? Um, oh, and then goes to the big and block. Yeah, fair enough. I guess he wants to move both blitzes, right? Um, I forgot what I was saying. So yeah, the dwarves are... The orcs... Oh my god, the orcs. The orcs are very likely <laughs> to be having to roll lots and lots of dice um, next turn, right? It's going to be an extremely difficult score next turn. Almost certainly. But a better chance than they had. Hit kick off. Is this a dice thing? Ma minor. I'd say minor so far. But, you know, obviously... Uh, Really, you have to wait till the end of the game to uh, to evaluate that. So, yeah, just the two blitzers come forward. Had the option to bring the might blow forward as well, but but didn't. Obviously, two is um, better than one. To uh, perhaps uh, let's take the obvious, but you know, obviously, it means that the dwarves can't clear both of them. Well. I say that. One, two, three. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> Funnily enough, uh, but as we, you know, it's irrelevant now as the, as we see the uh, the big and as we see the big and uh, advance uh, to a, to be another scoring threat. Um, Funnily enough, they could. Oh, and they. Oh, before the. Oh no, he made the pickup. Sorry, I couldn't see Mister Throw at the back, but Mister Throw had already made the pickup. So ball is in hand. Did he catch it or something? No, surely not. He's just so slow that was as further far, as far forward as he can get. Uh, so yeah, down goes the black orc, the big end, sorry, on the GFI. But yeah, I did get that one big end blitz, which was pretty important, right? And yeah, it, 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 in theory, if, if you had snotlings and not dwarfs, you could fill all the squares here, right? You only need uh, eight players to fill. And then one to blitz. You could fill all the squares. <laughs> <laughs> and clear both scoring threats. <laughs> and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's not advice because <laughs> <laughs> the dwarves ain't doing that. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> well, they fail sometimes. They fail sometimes. We saw them fail last game. Only, only a little bit, you know. I think two was like slightly unlucky last game, right? Maybe, maybe a little bit more, more than slightly. Like at the end of the day, it was just like a the, the one GFI snake, right? So you know, no doubt he had some successful GFIs as well. Right? You know, it's easy to say, you know, well, you yeah, know, just a couple of ones easy to happen, but you know, they, they, were, they were such big critical ones, right? You know, so yeah, failing failing those so important roles is always is always so bad, isn't it? And that's what uh, that's what can always happen in Blood Bowl, isn't it? That's why it's it's the game it is for better or for worse. You have very small chances of things going very wrong. <laughs> Hello, Pedro Jack. No, uh, no goblin for the orcs, incidentally. So uh, all of the trolleys on the pitch. Uh, there's obviously not going to be a, uh, a goblin toss. No, no goblin. Whoa, gets the uh, gets the down, the double downs on the uphill. Doesn't die. I was expecting the death there. Who who else was expecting the death? Alright, so did Jimmy Blitz? Am I going insane? Am I going insane or did Jimmy just not blitz one of those blitzers? Like he did he one in nine? I don't think so, right? Did he one in nine the blitz or did he just not blitz either? He blitzed the black one. Ah There we go, thank you. I am going insane. He blitzed the black hook. Right, let's see what Humbobbin can do. Let's see what Mr. Throw can do. Go for a blitz. That's, uh, that's really nice, isn't it? Makes the dodge. Makes the GFIs. Oh my word. Mr. Throw, your time is now. Uh, Mr. Throw is 3 plus passing, right? So we are looking at a 6 plus pass. We do have pass reroll, obviously. 
And then we'll need a, a thing was catch. And we need a two plus animosity. Oh my god. I hope this fails in animosity. That would be hilarious. What a, what a, what a ridiculous uh, trait. Whatever it is. Wasn't there a chain on the right? Was that? What's chain the tackle blitzer? Like how though? Like foot forwards? Cause you can't chain it backwards, right? Oh, chain the dwarf off. Ah, yeah. You'd have to fill right. Could could you fold? Oh yeah, the 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 black orc double GFIs. Yeah. Make rolls, but pass it down, Rusty. Makes a five. Rolls a five on the pass. Oh. <gasps> oh my flipping word. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Mr. Throw comes up with the gods, makes the pass, makes the long bomb. Blitzer makes the catch, it's a touchdown. Dwarfs in shambles, Kale comes back. Insane, insane. You asked, is this a dicing? It's an insanity dicing. Courtesy of Mr. Throw. And they said passing was dead. <laughs> Mr. Throw has got other ideas. Wow. Insane though, right? Absolutely insane. Wow. I mean, great play by Home Pun. Uh, and um, I don't know if Jimmy could have covered that better. Obviously, I wasn't really paying attention because obviously I'm commentating, so I'm not paying attention to the game, <laughs> which is what you do when you're commentating. Um, I learned from the best. Um, but yeah, it, having the... Uh, just the three... Having the, having the POW 2-2... Two, two, was better odds than I think Jimmy would have liked to leave there. But it's difficult, right? It's difficult to cover up that kind of situation perfectly, right? Almost certainly there was something better, but it's difficult to find, right? So, yeah, wow. The so now the dwarf's on the brink, right? The orcs have don't have that app out. Which is a thing. And they're also down a blitzer, which is definitely a nice bonus. But yeah, what one one it's it's huge, huge advantage, orcs. Yeah. Yeah, pa pal three two two, yeah, yeah. Well like you you'd hope to do better than I think. maybe not. Like I say, I wasn't paying attention, so yeah, no no criticism at all, but you saw we we saw Jimmy sort of get gesticulating with a mouse towards those towards those dwarfs, right? And that orc. He 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 knew it was coming. And yeah, Adon calling the chain on the right. Um, which which could be an option as well. That did actually look quite cool, didn't it? But then that needs a power as well, right? I mean, that needs a power as well. So, it's pretty pretty similar. And it needs the double here from the Black Orcs, yeah. So, I, I think, uh, yeah, timeout, yeah. It was a timeout, yeah, right. So, yeah, I think... Uh, I think I just like couple of ones play. Oh no, wait, sorry, sorry. Except the chain would allow you to do the pass first, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, chain and, and the, the shorter pass. Yeah, that could be cool. Uh, but who needs a short pass when you've got a Mr. Throw? Yeah, fair enough. I think I think the Black Hawk could have definitely got in to create the chain. It's just if there was anybody to blitz with, which I, I didn't like notice. A vicious ref! Oh! <gasps> Ooh, a dwarf. A dwarf. A guard dwarf gets into an argument with the referee. And gets stunned. That's one hell of a referee. Goblin beats dwarf. But doesn't get sent off. Obviously, not ideal for Jimmy. But it's it's not the, the ultimate terribleness of, of being sent off with absolutely no recourse. Is it very sunny? I don't think so. Stubber. I might be wrong. I don't think so. In comes uh, a mighty blow. Blitz. Push on the mighty blow blitz, gets knocked down on a beard on the LOS. The Orcs have exhausted all of their block blocking options now, so uh, let's see what the uh, what the biggins and the troll can do. Mr. Throw. 
the hero of the first half has the ball in hand. The biggin. The, uh, the rookie biggin does get a pow. And a KO, and uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I almost said, and there's the ammo. <laughs> uh, I uh, had no doubt that it would be so. So yeah, Apo going for dwarfs. Any more chaos will stick. Obviously, any chasms will stick as well. TD was three point six four. Does that include multiple options whereby you could just push the beard and then four three through? But yep, either way. Pretty low odds, and of course you have to get the, the turn before that he got right. He got the, obviously all the blocks and stuff, and he got the big and blitz. Absolutely critical getting that big and blitz into range right, because then that's an extra guy that Jimmy had to blitz. If he could have blitzed one of the blitzers, he could just completely dogpile the other blitzer right, and like leave, you know, almost no chance of scoring. Well, I mean, you might say that 3% is almost no chance anyway. <laughs> so yeah, but less than, less than that though. And then obviously you have to get the the the, uh, the riot. What's it called? Timeout. The timeout in the first place. So, so yeah, a, a, a fairly lucky drive one for Jimmy. A, a brutally unlucky drive two. There was a timeout, Baron Bucky. There was a timeout, and Mister Throw came up with the goods. A six plus throw. Uh, there was a timeout, yeah. Home and Bone make a good job of it as well, and I don't know. I wasn't paying enough attention to say, but the Orcs had a fairly easy escape into the end zone with their Blitzer, so it'll be interesting to see what Jimmy thinks about whether he could have done better there or not. I did. I gave him so much shit, didn't I? It's my fault, really. I completely jinxed. I, uh, I, I, well, I jinxed the, the dwarfs. I did the opposite of jinxing, uh, Mister Throw. Yeah, made the six plus pass on pass for you all. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. I booned, yes, I booned Mr. Throw. <laughs> hmm. Gotta be careful with that one. No, no rerolls. Yeah, rerollers indeed. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, very, very lucky for the orcs for sure. Well played by Hummer Hobbin, and a lot, a lot of luck. Yeah, no, no reroll. Yeah, no reroll needed. Needed the Mr. Throw pass. Incredible scene to push. More mighty... <laughs> These mighty blow guys have played each other so much this game. It's funny. Uh, but yeah, no... Um, uh, no, no pal there. Um... And uh, a few of the dwarfs have stood up. Let's see what happens with the rest of the dwarfs.
I may have to leave shortly. Tragically. Tragically. Um, this is one hell of a game, isn't it? I say I may have to leave. I've got a fumble game to play. I mean... Why... Why can't I... Why can't I just play the fumble game while I'm watching this? <laughs> uh, I've been mumbled. Okay. Where are we? One in nine with a uh, block blitzer. So, hmm. <sighs> a little bit of a half man's turn from the dwarves. I don't know. I'm seeing I'm seeing some dwarves in contact and some dwarves not. Ah, great. Cheers, Jamie. Cheers, cheers. Yeah, I'll probably just postpone. Ah, well, the thing is, my, my opponent actually asked if he could postpone half an hour, which is why I ended up having half an hour longer than I thought. Um... But but then that sort of that time's coming up in five minutes. But then I just I just asked him if I could have another half an hour. So we we both had half an hour extra. It seems fair. Um. So yeah, I I should see most of it if if not all now. And then yeah. If uh, if Fame can pop in, if I do have to go, then that would be great as well. So yeah, some uh, some basing in the opposite direction now. No doubt was a, a result of, of the the basing from last turn. With uh, with the bashy teams, once you uh, once you get stuck in, it's kind of hard to uh, become become detached, isn't it? So it looks like the dwarfs will uh, get some blocks back in return. Uh, have we seen an old blitz yet? I can't see the blitz icon. No, here we go. Here is the blitz. Ooh, uh, smashes into a guard dwarf. Uh, just a knockdown. Yeah, I'm gonna miss the throw of Piffity. <laughs> I mean, I'm playing as vampires. Maybe I should uh, see if I can change to uh, Mr. Throw Orbs. Lots of uh, lots of blocks here to come for the dwarfs. And yeah, all those all those blockless players for the orcs, right? Obviously, the orcs have the strength, but uh, they they are lacking in block compared to the dwarfs, especially with one of the blitzers out. Ooh, big juicy stun on the troll! One away from a KO. That would have been absolutely incredible, wouldn't it? But still, the stun is uh, it's not bad. Another knockdown. Juicy stun. You can hear that troll squelch. Yeah, the dwarfs. The dwarfs. If last turn was a half man's, this is an all man's. In go the dwarfs. Every single dwarf except the runner. Let's see if the runner does go in as well or not. Or if he just stays back. I mean, yeah, the mighty blow dwarf at the end is kind of like, you know, slightly awkward, isn't he? He can't take a 2D. What's he gonna do? He goes for dodge. It's a long bit, it's a four plus. He declines the V roll and the dwarf survives. Yes, he, he does have to do it. Yeah, at the at the risk of uh, you know giving advice, um, you'd absolutely expect to see something like this, right? And and they have all the guard, don't they? You know, because they under under normal circumstances, you're all right. Like 
Yeah, you know, it, it's interesting, right? Yeah, you know, what at the start of the drive, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, what was the orc chance of scoring a touchdown, right? Like, yeah, you know, what is the what is the the rate of success, you know, on offense? You know, I, I, I wouldn't know that is. You know, that would be a very interesting number to look at, right? Like, just look like say all the all the black box games on Fumble or something. You know, how many eight turn drives were were successful for the offender, right? For the offense, could be would be interesting. I'm thinking like seventy percent or so. But that could be could be a long, a long way off. Who's to say? Fifty-seven point three four five. Fame it. Going for the five significant figures. Very very high to be back to see. Fame it. Would expect nothing less. Now as a dwarf, as the orcs look to push up Jimmy's right flank a little bit. He didn't, Steve. He scored to eight. And then the orcs got a timeout. And Mr. Throw did a six plus pass to score. Um, the uh, extra R's body is, is gone. Next round spot is dead. It's uh, officially defunct. Uh, make that no more. No more extra arms box. Here comes the mighty blower. Gets the mighty blow. On uh, that's a blitz, isn't it? Pretty, pretty big stun. It says he uses the thick skull skill. I don't think it did. It was a nine on the armor, right? So even without thick skull, we would have been okay with a seven on the injury. It always oh does it oh, okay fair it always does that. More powers from the Lino. Does mean that the uh, the guard is like right in the middle of the orcs, which could potentially be a, a useful uh, thing. But obviously it's on the floor, which is less useful. The armor was a nine though, mighty blow was already used on the armor. Nine isn't though, he's got mighty blow, so mighty blow. Graded uh, the knockdown to a stun. Pretty sure, yep. Not, not all 100% sure, but uh, I thought I saw a 9. Ooh, it makes a dodge. That's pretty uh, it's pretty nice for the Orcs, that, isn't it? That really uh, strengthens this uh, this push they're making. Ah, right. Thanks, guys. So that makes sense. And a push in return for the dwarves. The defenseless black orc this time not succumbing. Does free a couple of dwarves though. That's quite nice, isn't it? Poor Jimmy, yeah, brutal one. Absolutely brutal. But not over. Here comes Mr. Throw. Ooh. Oh, and he goes to the Blitz Blitz. I thought he was going to Blitz the uh, the Biggin, actually. The Guard Biggin. I guess that would be no Wandy anyway. Just to push on the Mighty Blow. Huge turn. Oh, he can Wandy this Biggin. That's nice, isn't it? Huge turn coming up for the Orcs. Yeah, push, I guess. Yeah, push is just not nice is it, at all. Absolutely ginormous turn coming up the orcs, really. Do people really dream about shitting and then shit themselves? Wait, well, I don't think I've ever dreamed about it. Mr. Run! <laughs> yes, Mr. Run, sorry, they call him by his proper name. 
Oh, this is uh, this is quite a nice move, isn't it? Gets the uh, the hit on um, the uh, I think it's the pow on the the blitzer. So that's another guard blitzer on the floor with a lino, and that frees up that frees up two orcs. That's really nice by Humbubbin. You know, Humbubbin has been very lucky with a with the timeout. Really, extremely lucky. I think he's played a really nice game as well so far. I think he's used the orcs really well. Big turn for the Orcs, and so far they're making lots of powers, which is uh, exactly what they want. Up goes that biggin, biggin, the guard biggin, moving five squares. It thinks it's a source. Biggin having five squares to me is pretty amazing. And it's another pow from the mighty blow. Lots of powers, yeah. Really, really big turn for the orcs. And uh, another, another pow. Wow, this is a, it's a brutal turn. And that's a KO. Dwarfs down to 10 now. Finally, not a pow. But yeah, Dwarf is going to be a little bit stuck there. The Orcs jamming in, and this is why we really don't like the Orcs, obviously, as Dwarfs. They're, they're really strong. And and they're faster than us. It's like playing Lizard Men. Not, not quite as bad. <laughs> not quite as bad. But it's still pretty brutal. Is this over? It's not. We could see Mr. Run make a 6 plus pass, couldn't we, after after Jimmy timeout. <laughs> and, you know, Jimmy could stop this. Like, it's still possible. But, yeah, it was a big, big old turn of the Orcs there. One in nine. Friendly for the dwarves. Whoa, very friendly. They are fighting back. There goes a big one. It was, you know, fair out of position anyway, but still, we'll take those. Just a push on the guard, though. Oh man, turn of turn of powers for the dwarves. Followed by a turn of pushes. Well, I say turn of pushes. We've had <laughs> one, one knockdown and one push so far. That's not good in the slightest, but yeah. Feels bad. Always feels so bad. Hitting uh, hitting defenseless players on 2Ds with block and, uh, and not knocking them down. It's tough. This is really tough, isn't it? This is just really tough. Okay, the 1D frees up a, a beard. That's very nice, isn't it? Isolates the uh, the black orc. What is? Is there any way to stop these dwarves moving forward? We saw the we saw the dwarves have a uh, fairly we saw the dwarves have a fairly straightforward offense drive one, and uh, so far the orcs are also have, <coughs> oh yeah basically so far the orcs are also having a fairly straightforward offense of their own. Let's see. If that continues for these next few turns, it's Squeaky Bomb time. Uh, Misty M&M postulates their handoff. 
mean, he could do right, but then obviously Jimmy gets a short drive, doesn't he? So I think from this position, the Orcs have got to be got to be hopeful of just stalling out to wait. Let's see. Man, starts off with a couple of big powers again. Oh, it's been a, a good old turn for the Orcs. It's got a good old couple of turns for the Orcs. And like, there's just like, there's just nothing to stop them moving up here, right? Like, it, it almost feels like the dwarves had to try more to get in front of them or something. Like last turn, you know, like it's hard, honestly. Like it's ridiculously hard. Your team is moved four, you know, add four plus <laughs> idiots, you know. I mean, that's dwarf life, isn't it? Really, but yeah, I don't know. Like this just seems so, so easy for the dwarves, and it just got easier. Serious injury on the on a beard, on a guard beard. So now, even if, even if we get the stop, even if Jimmy has the stop, that's that's a big hit for overtime. Hubbin, Hubbin, considering what to do with uh, these last few players. Um, yeah, about both FOs have been used to body, yeah. Jimmy going for the chat game, uh, but <laughs> there's no such thing in football three. I did just see one coach type GG in, uh, the Discord, and I wasn't sure if that was if that meant the game had finished or if they were just trying to uh, find an alternate route for the chat game. Hey, Badger, good evening. Okay, so move the tackle bits are up. Tags the runner. I think so, J5. I think so. And then gets the dodge out. Huge dodge out. Tags out a beard. Or pretty big. Fairly meaningless 2D on a beard. And then leaves the troll. Yeah, the troll was the big one, right? The troll was the real one. I think the, the blitz of dodge out was kind of obvious. And, uh, and obviously does it gets it. Uh, the the big question was the was the troll 2D, and I think once he moved the tackle bit, he could never do the troll 2D right. If you if that goes wrong, the the blitzer's in, the dwarf blitzer. Yeah, just decided to move the dwarf blitzer and then not not follow the troll, which is fair enough. Yeah, you can see them. They've like that one like is waggling his hand right now. They've got like uh like fist weapons, right? Like uh. They're holding like golden plates or something. Is the is the blitzers? Uh, yeah, blitzers. One of the wait was it a blitz that got no 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 both both yeah so one blitz is on the troll, the other one's on the lino next to the troll. Goes for a 1D with the runner and gets it. Hello. Now a 1D on the big one. GFI 1D. Fails the GFI. Gets it. Just a push. Takes the push. Ball based. Now it's over. Makes a dodge out with the blitzer. It's double GFI. Fails one GFI. He goes first. Second GFI. He gets them. Needs a, <laughs> needs the rerolls, but gets there. Well, 
It's about as good as you could hope for, right? It'll be interesting to see. The stun on that blitz is quite big as well, right next to the two long beards. So, you know, they're, they're available now. Interesting to see what we do here with someone coming. In terms of, you know, in terms of the end state, really, of the turn, right? Getting getting out of this ball base is, is like, fairly obvious, right? But, uh, and here we go. Nice, nice, uh, that nice, nice play, I think. Pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. But yeah, now, now the question is, what exactly are we, uh, are we doing? There's the orcs from here. Did he fail three GFIs that turn? He did, did he? <laughs> Thank God for multiple viewers. He made three GFIs and failed them all. And then obviously made three on, uh, succeeded three on the yours. <laughs> Pretty funny. Ooh, what a night on the runner with a big and gets the power on re roll. Oh. Gets the power on re roll. Oh, that would have been. Uh... Why eighty one there, and he would have uh, would have had a chance, wouldn't we? Would have had a chance. Would have changed nothing. Oh no, dis disagree entirely, right? One in eighty one there, and we're well, we're two D in the ball. Tooting the ball, potentially scattering off. Even if it doesn't, we can get the pickup. You know, it's the last turn of the Orcs next turn. I mean, maybe, Steve. Like, in this position, if he leaves it like this, then yes. But he can obviously, you know, do some other things and change this, right? Yeah, and he, he does go for the store. Like, in Giga... Well, I'm not, not saying, obviously, but... <laughs> he has players that haven't activated yet, right? Here. <laughs> so he's the splitter. <laughs> so, yeah, ball... Ball, you know safe in quotation marks right like it's in it it's in a cage effectively um obviously that doesn't mean it was it was right to stall I, I think it's an interesting choice right you know he's, he's chosen to stall now he could have he could have um he could have scored couldn't he um and given the dwarf two turn jimmy does have two runners uh still got both blitzers so he has his all his ball players yeah pretty nice from the troll getting in there isn't it just a push on the mighty blow guy. Well, well, here we go. This is uh, this is crunch time, isn't it? Really? How are we how are we playing this turn? It is hard. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 most likely fine to score. It's most likely fine to stall, right? It's just which is which one is is most likely, right? Which one is most, most likely? He could do. He could go for the one turn if he gets his uh, KO dwarf back, and if uh, Hubbard Hubbard sets up in a manner to allow him to <laughs> to allow him to do the one turn. So he's probably not going to one turn. <laughs> he could. Uh, we'll be able to see. We'll see. Go to an up ball. Here we go. Blitzer is free. Almost clicks on the roll, but doesn't. Good job uh, uh, fighting with the interface. So yeah, we can we can probably imagine what's coming next. Let's find out. Roll a six. Let's go, says a kind sir. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's what I'm. Oh. Uh. Uh. Four three. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I, I was thinking, I was thinking the six, yeah, to be honest. But he goes for the four three, and the GFI doesn't get it. He makes the four. He failed. I don't know what happened. To be honest, he failed something and rerolled it and failed. In go the orcs. Two onto the orcs. They get their big and back as well. Well, the orcs got a timeout. Uh, yes, uh, yes, famer. Yeah, yeah. So Hubbard Hubbard will. No, sorry, no, no. Sorry, he'll. I mean, he. he, he... Hello. Hey. Hey, absolutely brutal, right? Absolutely brutal. 
No, he's not qualified, Famia. This is to this is for the pleasure of playing somebody like Eliod. Uh, if you win this game, so I am out. Yeah, I am out unless I get as lucky as he did, <laughs> which I won't. <laughs> The, the first drive went like so well right is the yeah. is the gutting thing uh, yeah it was shit. absolute clockwork i was like oh my god this yeah. is so good yeah two cars you know that's all you can ask for isn't it really pretty great and yeah. i thought i've got to defend against the the riot do you know what i mean then i thought i don't really want to just let the mighty blow guard so i thought i'll do the the, the terrible six squares back that people do you know the absolutely terrible six squares back and i did yeah. that and it is just it's so fucking terrible i hate it and he's doing it as well on purpose <laughs> like yeah. do you know i hate it i think it's the worst defense you can possibly do against a riot and then he's doing yeah. it on purpose but never mind but i just thought well i don't want him you know it's it's better than completely backlining right and it's it's uh, it's protecting my players, and yeah. What can you do? What can you do? Yeah, brutal. I I was I I was slagging off Mr. Thrupp as well so much <laughs> that he picks the goddamn six plus. <laughs> he didn't even set up for the riot either, did he? Do you know what I mean? He just set up to bang because of course he yeah. did, and then got the got the riot anyway. He didn't even free his mighty blow because he wanted a bang, and then just did all the bangings and. Uh, I mean, he could have... Oh, I guess he blitzed with the Black Oak in then, didn't he? I, I thought he was going to blitz with one of the blitzers, right? And then get all three blitzers off, I thought it was going to be yeah. in the play. But... I mean, it didn't really matter, because I still had to blitz the big, and otherwise you'd have had all chain outs or anything for anything. Yeah, yeah. Ones, so... it, it was it was really nice that the big end got in there. That, that kind of messed it all up, didn't it? Yeah. It was pretty nice that every single roll he did worked. <laughs> yeah, cool, cool. <laughs> And then his, you know, his offensive drive wouldn't have been so bad if it was, you know, if it was going to go to overtime, right? I'd have had a more or less a 50-50. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. So I got a high kick, not quite the same, is it? It's not. Ah, brutal. Lovely. No, there you go. Oh, oh! Oh, connection lost. What oh. if it doesn't count? Oh, oh, oh. oh my god! Win by default. Let's go. Blood Bowl three to the rescue. <laughs> Maybe you're telling me there's a chance. Uh, oh my god! Imagine if that doesn't count. That would be the best thing ever. I mean, I'd, I'd go straight away to delete the vod. <laughs> it never happened, guys. Uh, hey, another one. Well, well played. Ah, oh, yeah, it's in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no shit, Hubbin Hubbin. <laughs> Completely robbed. By fucking kickoff results twice. Like, it's so annoying, right? It's so annoying. Against the elves, I get the kickoff result. That means I just have to put my whole team protecting the ball and just can't get forward. Can't enter scoring range. And then against the fucking orcs, I get timed out on. And it's just fucking bullshit, isn't it? I could have put the guard in the middle of the three, right? So I could have played better. I could have put the guard in the middle of the yeah, three. Yeah, I, I, I wondered if... If, if I, I didn't watch enough of it, but I said I wonder if Jimmy will think he could have put, done better on that. Yeah. yeah, but I don't think it would have mattered much, right? I really don't think it would have mattered much. It would have just been an extra four plus, and you know he rolled all the dice anyway. So what's an extra four plus? <laughs> but yeah, it wasn't as good as yeah. it could have been. It wasn't as good as it could have been. But uh, you know, what can you do? Yeah, congrats, Hubbin Hubbin. You asked Artemis for some advice. Was it to roll well? <laughs> or oh, you will ask. Yeah, yeah. Just, just roll better, hub and hub and. I mean, well, you can't on 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 the riot, but you get a riot and you'll be all right. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying, isn't it? Like riot is the the worst one for like something like dwarves because it's like you do everything right and you just screw, don't you? Like I didn't yeah, do everything brutal. right on offense, but I mean, I, I did most things right, right on offense. Riot is just the most horrible, infuriating. Uh... Event, I think honestly, like going pitching bases and stuff like that before could be bad, but but right, it just feels so bad. It's, it's punishing you for, for playing correctly, right? Isn't it? You know, yeah, could have, could have just scored turn two, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. yeah, yeah, I mean, it was a big racial advantage for Orcs, right? And 71% in Blood Bowl 2 is Hubbin Bubbin, so you know, he's no house to he knows how to play, doesn't he? So, uh you know, like, obviously he was fancy to stop me, but then I got the early damage, didn't I? Which was pretty good, like, the early removal and Apple used, but that didn't really matter, like, for the for the drive it was good, wasn't it? Then got another Kaz and a KO on the drive, so, like, my drive went pretty sweet. Got all the guards in doing things. It was just a lovely, a lovely... I thought about dodging off to mark Mr. Throw, and then, obviously, the Mr. Throw was used to get the Blitzer off the sideline to stop him getting served, so maybe I should have done that, but he would just fall three away anyway, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah. 
So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I mean, it's... I, I thought I'd have gone 2-0 and, and then lost, so this is just the same nearly, isn't it? It's still out after three games. <laughs> Could have... Yeah, it <laughs> doesn't feel as bad as losing the, the third game like you were worried about. Exactly, yeah. Like, I could have easily just stood up two players versus Galentio and then won against Galentio and then lost against Hubbin Bubbin, like, exactly the same way, right? Like, Hubbin Bubbin's going to play somebody who's won two games. And and if that's Dwarves, he's probably going to win, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. But anyway, yeah, you know, like, it is what it is, right? Riots are just so annoying because, by all rights, that was a 1-1. One -one. And then, you know, whoever wins the toss probably wins the game, right? Like, maybe not me because I'd taken the KO and the guard Kaz and the guard KO. So, like, maybe my KOs don't come back. Maybe it does. Maybe I get more damage from my mighty bullets. Glorious. But, obviously, I could no, have then played the defensive half differently and safer, right? So I wouldn't have taken so many cards probably because I'd have been playing I just safer defend. to get overtime. Because I'd have been quite happy rolling with my 50-50 to win, honestly. like, Thank you very much, Hubbin Bubbin. Um, I, I thought, you know, going to overtime was completely reasonable if I just thought, like, obviously, receive first, get my drive done, throw all four rerolls at getting my drive done, which, you know, I didn't need to at all. Everything went perfectly on my drive. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was tragic. Like yeah. the the riot was so coming, wasn't it? Like yeah, you can't you can't have realized. a drive that that well, and then <laughs> and then everything not go completely wrong. I should have realised. Maybe I should have just done like you know some kind of columns defence or something to just try to stop a quick score. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I, I'm absolutely brutal and and, and big commiserations. I'm gonna have to love you and leave you, unfortunately. I've got a. I'm playing. I'm playing store store oh, himself wow. on 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 fumble. So I've got to go and, and go and sit on that. So yeah, oh, wow. oh, unlucky again. And, and yeah, see you, see you later. And yeah, see you later, China buddy. Thank you very much, Elliot. Thank you so much for doing it. Brilliant. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs> <laughs>